just seen how I've, s how I've made the cozy sweater with the flat yarns and now I close this sweater like I usually do so crochet a double crochet row and then mark the sleeves and crochet them together I made several tutorials on that but I tried to make a separate tu or tutorial for that as well later on here is the armpit there we start off with crocheting double crochets around this row in the back loops only so when you already know how to crochet two parts together for the seam then you're ready ready to go to make the sleeve so I already made one piece here to show you how you can uh, keep on with the lining to the body the same as the sleeves so what you will do is put your finger here and there and flip it over the sleeve that way you know on which line you are and then you that way you can change your colors every row to the body part itself that is my way how to see on which row I am and which color change I need so just flip it over and you see it this little bit of yarn I have left over right now so one skein has 210 meters on it it's approximately 260 yards uh, this yarn is 30% wool and 70% acrylic yarn so it's really soft I will show you how you need to crochet the rows on the sleeves it is the same as the body so it's not that hard here you start off is the same as where I start now I need to go crochet a row from out of the inside of this sleeve right now so I'm in the second row here is where I close my row and there I will attach my yarn so the place where you close it you will attach your new yarn when you use color changes so put one loop on my hook and pull it through make one chain and then directly in the next stitch here I crochet in the back loop only so I put my till on top of my work so that I don't have to sew it in later and I make my half double crochet or a double crochet depends on what you prefer to make and I crochet only in the back loops so this row I will crochet from the inside of the sleeves and the next row will be from the outside of the sleeves but I will show you how to do that here's the next stitch when you need to shrink your sleeve a bit so it must be smaller towards the elbows what you will do is in the beginning or at the end of your row you will crochet two double crochets together this row I will start off with normal double crochets and I will end this row with two double crochets together to show you how to do it and how to end off the row and start a new row so please be aware when you work with two yarn threads that you pick up both yarn threads and don't leave one behind otherwise you will get a loop loose we'll see you back here I'm at the last two stitches so if you want to decrease here I've already made one here what you will do is you make one unfinished double crochet in the back loop and in the second stitch also an unfinished double crochet in the back loop and then pull through here's my first stitch where I started with the chain one I made in that stitch I will close this round off chain one and turn now you crochet from the outside also in the back side of the loop so the back loop only you will keep on going with double crochets in the back loops this is a sweater with multiple loops so it depends really on the yarn that you're using for the creation that you will get or the type of sweater you want this one is with multiple colors and a shiny shimmer in it the blue one if you really want to be a uh, one plain color and more a uh, men's sweater make it in one color and with half double crochets only the ribbing must be with double crochets front post back post double crochet no half double crochets if you really want a more classical 
use uh, half double crochets and a shiny yarn in it that way you get a more classy effect if you use uh, for example red heart unforgettable you can use that with a main color so one plain color try to use the red heart unforgettable throughout your whole work that way you get a nice even effect if you want to change one uh, color type or yarn type please add one yarn type more otherwise you get a difference in stitches later on I will try to make a men's cozy sweater as well with an open front and a big collar to it so but that, would be, that one will come later on this is the ladies sweater you see the white neckline here and the front will come uh, more open because the front part is a bit bigger than the back part that way you get a little waterfall on the front and the off shoulder effect keep on continuing with crocheting in the back loops only ready you crochet from the inside or the outside up till the wrist I will show you now how to make the ribbing on the wrists so the cuffs what I always do is I made a chain one and I'll start directly with the stitches so yarn around the hook and go around the post and make a front post double crochet please do make sure that your stitch count is a multiple of two otherwise you won't come out with the ribbing one front post one back post double crochet like this so one front post here's one back post double crochet and the next will be a front post double crochet you will keep on continuing this up until you're back at the beginning of this row so in the chain one that you made I will show you how to close it off and to be uh, to make it work even and nicely without visual chain one so that you don't see the chain one later on in your work because that's not so beautiful here I am at the end of this row, the first row. I've got a front post double crochet and one more back post double crochet. Only here is my chain up one that I made to start off this row. What I will do is go around those two stitches. So around double crochet and around that chain one I made. So that way when I pull the yarn from the back to the front and to the back it will close these two stitches up and you won't see it anymore. It's a little clever trick, but it's really handy. So now you close this round off in the chain one here on top, and you won't see it anymore. Chain one and repeat row again. In the front post, you make a front post double crochet, and in the back post double crochet, you make a back post double crochet. That way, you get a nice even edging, and you won't see it anymore when you start or when you close this row here so later on when I'm done with this row I go again with the back post double crochet around that back post double crochet and around that chain one I made in the previous row there here it is you will see it automatically when you start these rows so I put my hook behind it and then I pull up the yarn from the front to the from back to the front and again to the back that way you won't see it anymore so this is my way to, to close the rounds off and start the rounds. Keep on continuing the same row, amount of rows that you've done on the border on the beginning of this sweater. That way you get a nice even effect. So if you don't know, here you see some little bars. Count those bars and that way you know how many rows you have made. So here's my first one. I made a, a double crochet foundation row. So that's my first one. One. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, plus the edge here is number 7. That way I know that I have 7 rows of front post, back post, double crochets. I will finish off my sleeves and you have all seen the pictures in the beginning of these tutorials. I hope you enjoy it and I really hope and love to see your pictures on the Facebook page. The link is in the description box below. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel 
and every time I upload a tutorial we get automatically a notification from YouTube that I've done that so I hope to see you next time thank you for watching bye bye